At the moment, many are in a constant challenge to save money. Reducing spend is high on family agendas, disposable incomes become less and hobbies are difficult to justify. The cost of new golf clubs can be mind-blowing and off the agenda right now for many golfers. But one brand is doing its thing, making the game more affordable without a compromise in quality. You see, I, like you, love a bargain. But I'm not keen on buying lesser known brands if that means sacrificing quality. And the same applies when it comes to buying golf clubs. Tacoma has long been recognized for providing golfers with premium iron sets. If I'm honest, I've not heard a bad word spoken about what the Finnish brand has achieved over the past few years. They have now ventured into the world of fairway woods. And I want to know, should they have stuck to the world of irons only? Or is this another move to produce a product on a budget with zero compromise on quality and performance? So by far, the thing I like most about these Tacoma fairway woods is their adjustability. And adjustability is, well, it's, it's a thing, isn't it? It's everywhere. But they do something just a little bit different, and I'll talk about it a little bit later. But essentially, this back weight is the key part for me. There's three little weights that you'll get sent in a kit. And interestingly enough, I've got the three, the five, and the seven wood, all with completely different weights in the back. And I'll explain the reason for that a little bit later on. It's a super ball flight. Thing absolutely zips off it. And uh, on the 11th hole at Wallasey, which is a stunning golf hole, that's position A. That was a five wood, by the way. And uh, interestingly enough, the weight in that little back port is 20 grams. So the interesting bit about this weighting system is I've got, like I said, three, five and seven. And the weight that is put in the back is each different. I've got the 15 gram in the seven. In the five wood, like I said earlier, is 20 gram. And in the three wood, I've got 25 gram. My logic for doing that is because I want more help in getting the ball airborne with a three wood. Uh, five wood was kind of like, you know, just I just found a happy medium. And then the seven wood was something that, again, have a tendency to, as it's supposed to do, get that ball up a little bit high. And what I was concerned about was just it becoming a little bit too spinny and a bit too high. So being able to make those adjustments yourself is a real bonus for me. Dead easy to do, simple in and out, and you can start to find and tweak about what suits you. And it does make a difference, I can assure you, to the ball flight. And then obviously you've got that adjustability within the hosel to start tweaking the loft as well. So a real interesting concept because I've not really seen any of the body produce anything where you have the ability to change those weight ports at the back and get something really uh, dialed in to what fits your bag. I love it. Right, so what you're going to see is three different shots, three different clubs, and three very different ball flights, which is the key part. You'll see the three wood zips off, low penetrating ball flight, fairly low spinning, what you'd want it to be. Then you've got the five wood, happy medium between launching the ball high, but still moving forward. So it's still something you can play off the tee and get some realistic distance. And then you've got the seven wood, which just pops the ball up in the air. It's a bit of a miracle club, really. It should be in a lot of people's bags because not that you play from that tee position, but if you're coming into a green uh, from a fair bit of distance, to have that launch, that descent angle, that thing's stopping. So it's very easy to see why each of these clubs exist and why each of them can play a part in uh, pretty much most golfers' bags. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Hot Golf, the online golf retailer for all major brands. And if you want new golf gear, then please support us by supporting them. Right, we'll leave it there. We've, uh, well, I've certainly found out enough after using these for quite a few uh, rounds, to be quite honest with you. If you're watching the Off The Beaten Track series, these have been the clubs I've been using for five episodes. And they've been really, really impressive. I love what Tacoma are doing, but they've very much been known for what they're doing with that iron market. Um, up until now and I think what they've done in these uh, fairway woods has been exceptional. Each of them has been very playable and done something that you know I struggle with to be honest with you and that's a three wood that I would put in the bag simply because of the ball flight characteristics which I really struggle with in strong lofted fairway woods. I've been, made, I've been able to make some changes with the weight and with the loft to get that a very playable club in the bag. I'm a big admirer of seven and five woods as you know and they would be ordinarily in my bag anyway. 
and then they do it on a price tag which is uh, as we suggested a budget that is uh, far more appealing to others but not at the detriment of quality and that again is the big key for me what you don't want to do is save yourself a whole load of money but buy what is effectively a load of crap this is good quality gear that performs exceptionally well with good shafts in yes there are limitations but overall you can't really go wrong with an investment in any of the Tacomo products and for me it gets a massive thumbs up right we're done can't believe how nice a morning we've had Wallasey Golf Club end of February looks incredible thanks for having us and I'll see you all soon